So here's an example problem um, that I'd like to um, have you be able to work through. So you have these 32 bits, and these 32 bits represent a floating point value. Um, is it one point? Is, is it 23.0625? What is the number that this represents? This represents some floating point value. So with IEEE format, um, those 32 bits are stored within, let's see if I can get this to draw right. So those 32 bits are stored within um, these three groupings. There's one bit that indicates the sign. If, there's a, if it's a one, then it's negative. There's another um, eight bits that represent the exponent. And then there are 23 bits here that represent um, the fractional component. So let's go ahead and decode it. So the sign bit, we see that the sign bit is one so that we know that whatever answer we come up with, it's going to be a negative answer. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits that are here. These eight bits then um, represent the exponent. So if you decode, or if you actually convert um, this, treat it as an unsigned value, you get 159. But when you um, uh, actually bring it back down, take out the bias that's been put into it, um, you'll see that you're looking at 159 minus the 127, or a value of 32. Now, we have 23 more bits that we're going to look at. Um, so at this point in the game, what we see is that we have a multiplier, 2 to the 32, and that it's negative. And what we need to finish our answer is just to determine what the value is that that 2 to the 32 is multiplied by. Um, so let's go ahead and move forward. Um, we know that this is the fractional component. So we're looking at the implicit one, which is not included, plus the fractional component. So this is going to be multiplied by two to the negative one, two to the negative two, three, two to the negative four, two to the negative five, um, six, seven, eight, two to the negative nine, and then finally, all the way at the end here is 2 to the negative 22. So this value that we're looking at is 1 plus the fractional component, 2 to the negative 1 plus 2 to the negative 4 plus 2 to the negative 5, 2 to the negative 9 plus 2 to the negative 22. Now you could plug this into your calculator and give me a base 10 answer. At this point, I am. I, I, this is sufficient. This is all that this problem is asking for. So now let's take a look at one that actually um, looks for you to go a little bit further. Again, you're given it. You're given this I triple E value hex three AC. So what we're going to do instead of giving it to you as bits, I've given it to you as hex value. So what we're going to do is represent um, those values that are hex, each nibble will be converted to its bit rep uh, representation. So if you go ahead and express those hex values, the three and what is the A? The A is a 10, um, the C is a 12, um, if you go ahead and express those hex values in binary representation, then you can then proceed to do what we did before and take the first bit, the eight bits, and the next 23 bits and produce a value. Now, the, um, these eight bits that we're looking at, if you get their value, their magnitude is 117. Since it's in an IEEE format, it's been um, biased. So we're going to subtract out the bias of 127. So it's going to be the 117 minus the 127. 
which is going to give us a negative 10. So what we have then is um, a value 1 plus, we have to figure the rest of this out, and it's going to be times 2 to the negative 10 when we finally express this in normalized scientific notation. So let's figure out what that value is. Um, this is going to be our fractional component that's here. And so our fractional component, the first one is going to be times 2 to the negative 1. Um, 2, 3, 4. This is times 2 to the negative 5, 6, negative 7, 8, negative 9, and negative 10. So when we complete this, that fractional component, we're just going to say that our answer is we throw in the implicit one, it's never carried, plus the rest of this is going to be um, a 2 to the negative 1 plus a 2 to the negative 5. So 2 to the negative 1 plus 2 to the negative 5 plus 2 to the negative 9 plus 2 to the negative 10. And if you put that, oh, and all of that is going to be multiplied by 2 to the negative 10. And if you put that into, um, if you evaluate that with your calculator, you're going to come up with a value of 0 0.00105058517. And this question is asking you to use six decimal places, but to express the value in scientific notation. So that's going to be one, two, three. So one point five zero five eight five um, six decimal places five zero five eight five two times ten um, to the negative three so that's the answer uh, that we're looking for there